Gotta go. You gotta see things. See new faces and brand new things. Gotta go places and do things. Maybe to forget it. <laughs> In the hangar today, we have a 1982 Baron 58. This Baron came to us for an annual inspection. Upon inspection, we found that the right-hand wing tip tank had a leak on the trailing edge. I've been given the opportunity and the task to gain access to this tip tank, and I'd like to show you how I do it. We have the wing that's in question. This is the upper side and the lower side. Upon first glance, you don't really see anything, but closer view near the static wick, you can definitely tell there's fuel stainage here. If you wipe it, it turns your gloss blue. What I'm gonna do is reproduce the panel, the access panel that's on the top of the wing. And by doing that, I need to cut the paint uh, that's around the screw heads. This is a paint cutter. And you just attach it to the end of a drill bit like so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut the paint that's around each of these screws. What this does is this allows me to take the screws out without tearing the paint. Uh, you still might have to pick the paint out of the inside if it starts to strip or something, but this at least stops that paint from grabbing that screw and makes it easier to get out. All right, so I've gotten all the paint cut. I'm gonna go ahead and extract all those screws out of there. So here I've got the screws taken out. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the panel. This is the internally mounted panel, so I'm just gonna push it down. Sometimes you need a hook. I really didn't need one here. You just kind of push it down, turn it, and it'll come out. All right, panel's removed. That's what I'm gonna duplicate the hole for, or to fit. And this is roughly where it's gonna go, underneath the wing. So what you gotta, what I had to look out for is I had to pay attention to the ribs and the stringers. These are the rivet lines. They're kind of hard to see, especially on the black paint, but that's why I use the tape to mark them out. So I take the tape, I lay it over the rivet lines. Again, it makes it easier so you're not trying to look at it in the paint. Inside here is what we're actually trying to gain access to, and that's this back side. Uh, the manufacturer didn't install any access panels and we need to get back there to get to that fuel leak. So that's what we're doing. Measure a thousand times and try to cut once. That's all I can tell you. I, I measure all different ways. I use the end of the stick. I use the one to start. So all I do is I take a whole lot of measurements. I'm gonna, and that's how I'm going to build the template. And that's where we're going to start next. So again, just getting a whole bunch of different measurements. And I'm going to use cardboard box as my template. So the first thing I'm going to do is just etch out a rough little diagram of the outside. Uh, again, I use measurements all the time. So these are, you know, I'm just comparing to what we measured on the aircraft. And now I'm checking the edge distance to, so how, you know, it's got to have a center hole. So I need to make sure that my flange is going to have enough room all the way around. Once I've got all those lines marked, I go ahead and take that, take those lines and encircle and, and the, the entire thing. So my center has a, you know, you put a mark every few little centimeters or so. All right, so I got all my little dash marks. 
as that's what I call them. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to connect all those. Uh, again, I still use the ruler making sure everything's the same uh, distance edgewise as I go around and, and connect them all. There you go. All right, so my rough giraffe is done. Just doing a check, make sure my lines still line up. Now I'm just gonna take the razor and I'm gonna start to cut the center out of it. Uh, again, the panel needs to sit from the inside out, so the center hole is obviously the most important part. That's what we're gonna be cutting into the aircraft skin. So yeah, it's very important. I, I really don't wanna try to put metal back, so. Uh, I definitely would try to get this right again that's where all that measuring comes in so what I do is I take the panel and I flip it upside down because it's kind of gonna sit if the holes right it's gonna sit inside and then this is just a double check to see how it sits as far as the flushness of the hole if it allows it to go all the way around the, uh, the piece that sits higher right there. all right and this I just do just to check make sure my holes okay I took the cut out and I stuck it in the uh, panel hole, the access hole on the top of the wing to make sure it fit. So here I started to mark my holes using a gasket and then I thought twice about it because the gasket's already been stretched and worn. So what I'm doing here is I'm getting center of the panel to ensure I have lined up and then I'm gonna go back and use the uh, gasket as just a rough, you know, rough estimate of where the hole should be. But at least this way I can see where the center of the, the top and the bottom hole are, or in this case, left and right hole. Uh, once I get it in place, I'm just going to tape it down to make sure it sits flat and flush. And then I go around and just kind of mark. And again, see, I'm, I'm making sure center is with the center hole. And, and again, that, that's what I'm doing here. And then just marking the holes as I go. And you can verify that this is uh, correct or, you know, really close to correct um, by taking your panel and uh, putting it on the, the board as well once you get that hole cut. So you can line up your uh, castellated nut plates with those right there. Now I'm just going to cut that template out of the box so I have an actual template I can put onto the aircraft. Now we went ahead and we marked the aircraft earlier with the tape so we don't have to eyeball those rivet lines so hard. And again, this just makes it easier for this step right here when you go to, to set and mark your, your hole. And that's what you see. I'm just gonna try to line it up. You're paying, I'm, I'm paying attention to where that flange is and compared to those ribs and the stringers. I, you know, I gotta have enough room to have that panel be on the inside of the wing and sit down into the hole. And we do do a lot of work, so I do want to add that this did take a couple days uh, of off and on work. Uh, I got the panel in this morning though, so I was able to size it up and fit this morning. So it was great and I, I about got that done. Now. All right, so there we go, we got it set. That's about where I want it. I'm gonna go ahead and make my mark with a pencil. And, uh, and the reason I used the pencil because I wanted a really thin line uh, so I can get it close to perfect. So to cut, I start with a hole big enough to fit the nibbler into and I use a nibbler because it gives me the closest uh, cleanest cut I can get and if you notice I did not go right on the line and that's because you can't put metal back so I'd rather cut it just a hair shy and you know shave it or file which you'll see uh, I do kind of have to clean up the hole a little bit but that's okay because again I can take metal off but I really really can't put it back that easily so all right, and there you saw the pipes that we needed to gain access to. I'm just trying to fit the whole piece that I cut out and you could see it was a little bit bigger. Again, the panel came in this morning. I still need to shoot it with paint, but I was able to line it up with my template, mark my holes and pop them with a hole puncher. And again, I don't use those necessarily. I just try to get center on them. So I try to make this template as perfect as I can because that's what's gonna give me my center hole uh, when I go to drill. I'm gonna use a center punch on that right there, so. So that's how my morning started and here we go. So this was a pre-fit and you can see it needs some work. 
this is a very slow and meticulous part right here um i sped it up a lot and it was a you know i couldn't record it all because i do have to work too <clears throat> but it was definitely a, it's just a, a a little bit so you trim just a little bit fit again trim a little bit fit again and that's it that's just a file rotary tool i have on the end of the drill uh it, again i like using the drill because it allows me to control it better but again just take you know i had to take my time and a little bit off at a time and and see how it fits looks close to spot on at this point so I'm gonna go ahead and lay out and this is where I punch the holes or I center punch the holes for my drill <clears throat> and when I drill I start with uh, in this case a number 40 and that's because you I started small and it allows me to check uh, along the way so from a 40 I swapped over to the number 30 and then from there I just stepped up a couple sizes until I got what I wanted And there we go so we have a panel we have an access hole and a panel so all I got to do is shoot it with some paint and that parts pretty much done thanks so much for watching if there's anything you'd like to see in the future uh, we do a whole lot of different things and I'll be posting as many as I can um, yeah, little tutorials like this. That was a lot of fun.